on September 9th, 2014. We were on our way back from a fishing trip. My brother was behind the wheel. And I grabbed my bucket with the rope to get some water to clean the fish. And I fell overboard. I screamed and I whistled as I saw the boat leave me. At that point, I realized that my worst fear became reality. I spent close to seven hours at sea. I thought I was gonna die. The seas at the time were four to six feet. The water temp was like 74. It was kind of dark, which of course, it's always dark when you go on the water. The captain of the vessel was not sure where he'd fallen over, so it was just kind of a needle in the haystack situation. I start thinking about a lot of things, and then all of a sudden I see a Coast Guard helo off in the distance, and I realized at that point that search was on, so it gave me hope that I'm gonna be safe. And I start splashing water and whistling, and he flew by me and just kept going. The feeling to have your rescuers looking for you, to see them and then not see you, is tough to put in words. He'd already been in the water for a long time. He had to face hypothermia, get attacked by sharks. We were also worried about him being off the boat for so long that he might become exhausted and not be able to keep himself afloat anymore. I started to get tired, really tired, and I'm like, start losing hope. I start thinking about my life, of like what people would say at my funeral. I thought about how to drown myself with the least amount of pain. I thought that I was just gonna let all my air out and just sink all the way as deep as I could and just gulp up water and drown. At that point, I prayed even more. I didn't, like, I didn't want to die that night. I really didn't. The darkness started playing tricks on our eyes. We are kind of seeing things. Once we were into our third leg, we were about an hour and a half into our search pattern. The coxswain realized that our RBS was running low on fuel. So to conserve fuel, he reduced his RPMs. But once he did that, I was actually able to hear like a faint whistling. And I wasn't too sure of what it was. It just kind of sounded like it was coming from everywhere. I saw a light. I start screaming and whistling and splashing water. Petty Officer Faustino told everybody to be quiet in the boat and that he thinks that they heard a noise. We all went into overdrive. We had guys looking out off both sides, kind of trying to figure out where he was, calling out to him. And then that's when they heard more water splashing and a faint whistle. I was on the spotlight, and so I turned the spotlight towards where I saw some splashing. When they got the spotlight on me, I realized at that point that I'm gonna be saved. We threw him a life ring. I sprinted towards that life ring. Like, well, my life did depend on it. <laughs> but like, I grabbed it, and they pulled me into the boat. As soon as we brought him on board, we checked his vitals. Petty Officer Gentry realized that he was suffering from a little bit of hypothermia. So he grabbed his jacket and gave him his jacket to kind of warm him up. I thank these guys. Like, I was like, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. He immediately requested if he could contact his brother over the cell phone just to kind of let him know he was OK. We transited back towards the Marina Del Rey Sheriff's Station. They got me off the boat, and my uh, sister-in-law and my two nieces were waiting for me there. I had respect for the Coast Guard prior to this incident. Now I have a much, much higher respect for them, for the fact that they saved me and for the fact of what they do, that they put their lives on the line to save others. The Coast Guard's motto is Semper Paratus, which means always ready. Semper Paratus, always ready. Semper Paratus, always ready. Semper Paratus, always ready.